fire me. I go, I go, whatever it is that you do, I want it, and I want it, I want to take it through intravenously. Because you inspire me. So, what does this have to do with this book? And, what, and, and what's the whole thing? Excuse me while I save the world. It should be excuse us while we save the world. That's what the whole point of it is. The left and the Alinskyites on the left um, thought that they had a permanent progressive United States. The articles upon Barack Obama's uh, transcendent ethereal presidency were that this is the end of the conservative movement and Newt Gingrich sat down in a video with Nancy Pelosi and said cap and trade whatever you want global warming is the worst thing that ever happened in the history of the world let's ruin industry in the United States so I can get elected president of the United States well something has happened between then and now and that was you the American people AFP uh, bunch of Hollywood conservatives that you don't even know existed started getting together and saying to hell with these people, we're sick of them telling us to shut yeah. up, we're sick of them yeah. telling us. I go, we stood up to the Democrat media complex over the last two years. They were using their Alinsky tactics to silence us. And that's why they said, that's why they proactively <coughs> issued a uh, Homeland Security, the first thing that they did was issue a Homeland Security thing saying, you're all Timothy McVeigh. And they also went out there and everybody, full court press, racist, racist, racist. It was meant to say to people, don't go out there and stand up for yourself because we're going to take photos of you and you're going to be in the paper and you, the good people of America, are now going to be wrong, wrongly but we're going to associate you with racism and you're not going to like it. And you said to hell with them. You walked through the fire. You kept showing up. And they kept trying to double down. And then they tripled down and they quadrupled down. And look what happened in 2010. Two years before that, the death of the conservative movement. It's over. Two years later, not only is the conservative movement in the greatest state that it's ever been, we also took out the accommodation is called the Republican Party, and they're completely scared that we the people are in charge, not the pollsters and the Republican strategists. 